it says the Hangout is live on the air. Hello, everybody. Um, I'm here with the little Katie monster, and um, we're kind of waiting for um, Rich. We have no idea where the heck he went, and we have Jay Larson here. And, um, yeah, we're here to talk about Paradigm Shift and Educational Comedy version 2.0. And what happened to 1.0? Gee, the Paradigm Shift Docs for You channel. Where did it go? What happened? Where are all the videos? Well, there's a journal entry that I actually wrote about that. And I think I'll just read it from there. Um, from the other computer here. And um, you guys can also check that out as well. And, you know, I, I can uh, give you the facts of what's going on here and give you my speculation on things and, you know, what ends up transpiring from there. We'll just have to wait and see. And I'll keep everybody uh, informed as to that situation. But um, my, my other YouTube account was suspended, and uh, I filled out the contact form to try to get it reactivated, and I put in, um, my account was perfectly within the community guidelines, my account was 100% in 100% perfect standing. There was absolutely zero DMCA strikes against me. All of my content abided by the rules and terms of service of YouTube. All of my discussions with other YouTubers have been civil. I've had this account since 2010. There were no problems. Then suddenly, it says my account is terminated for no apparent reason whatsoever. I would like you to tell me the exact reason why this happened. How can my account suddenly be terminated with no strikes against me and no community guidelines violations? Termination of my account is illegitimate and violates my rights under the law. So I would greatly appreciate it if you would reactivate it. Thank you very much for your time and have a wonderful day. Sincerely, Dave. The automated system fed me back some crap and email. Dear Google user, Thank you for reaching out about your difficulties accessing your Google account. We understand how frustrating that must be, and we apologize for any inconvenience you've experienced. However, we're happy to say that we've got good news for you. Nothing to do with Little Green Lizard or switching to Geico Insurance. We have looked into your account, and it's still active, so you should be able to access it. May we ask you to please try one more time? Make sure that you correctly enter your username and password. Blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so um, in the, the uh, journal entry here, I basically said, um, the YouTube channel prepared on shift and educational comedy was just terminated for absolutely no reason whatsoever. I filled out the form to inquire slash possibly restore it, <clears throat> and the automated reply I got back on it was rather interesting. It claims the account was active and to try again. I tried again and still punting. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> the good news is, of course, I have all my shit backed up. So I'll just come up under another name if that's what I end up needing to do. And of course, you know, I don't know the fate of what the old account's going to be, but this is obviously what I've been needing to do. And so here we are with this video, you know, under another account, obviously. Oh, uh, let's see here. So no matter what happens, this will get sorted. Either they will reactivate me or I'll create a new account and re-upload all my stuff. No big deal either way. The name Paradigm Shift and Educational Comedy itself has five years worth of clout. My old subscribers will refine me again very easily. So just more contrast in the flow of life. Opportunity, not burden. I'm just going to take this one step at a time, and I'm not going to jump the gun on anything. Even with as much as I rant about things such as the globalist elites and the societal scam, no, I'm not about to go all Alex Jones on anyone's ass about this. Being more esoteric-minded as well as a logical computer geek, my first speculation is going to simply be that with my own internal paradigm shifts and the cluster fornication of contrast and synchronicity, I've been experiencing lately that the highest probability is that this is simply a glitch that can be easily resolved. I talk about shifting reality through state of being just as much as I discuss topics like geopolitics and world affairs. So with all of that melting together with calm logic, 
It's not a leap of logic to presume that this 3D physical reality reflection in the quantum mirror can take the form of a simple server glitch. I'm not going to jump to any radical conclusions. I will see what folks over at YouTube have to say about it. For all I know, they might reply back saying, Oh, we're sorry. Our servers have been acting strange lately. This was merely an accident. Your account has been restored. We apologize for the inconvenience. It may very well be as simple as that, and I'm totally open to that sort of reflection. If YouTube has actually censored me for any reason, then I'll find that out soon enough in whatever line of crap they elect to throw at me that will make it blatantly obvious. In the event that I'm unable to get my account back, I will simply start it from scratch, which is basically what I've done, again, hence this video. I have all my videos backed up. I have some pretty good, inter yeah, some pretty good internet access speeds. Starting over would be a mild inconvenience, but not a roadblock. I had just reached over 4 million views and over 6,000 subscribers. Needless to say, Paradigm Shift and Educational Comedy has had a following since 2010, so it's not as if people won't be able to easily find me again. Not to mention, I have well over 60,000 likes on the PSEC Facebook page, and I get between 20,000 and 30,000 views per week on there. So I'm not incredibly worried about anything. If I do have to restart from scratch, again, which I pretty much have, hence this new channel, and the fact that my channel got slammed down for basically no reason will only make people more interested in the new channel. So, though I hope that they simply just restore my old channel, the idea of creating a new one does pose its own opportunities and positive aspects as well. So, stay tuned. Well, that's okay. We're still talking to YouTube. That's completely okay because this is all being recorded. That's pretty much who I'm talking to, to YouTube. I know YouTube, but there's little kitty monsters. So anyway, um, you know, me and, me and uh, some friends were joking too that, you know, if this is a, uh, a censorship tactic, that I basically, um, you know, won my first Illuminati merit badge. <laughs> so, no matter what happens, everything's going to be fine. I mean, you know, the new channel has come up and I've been uploading stuff to it. Uh, it's also giving me a chance to, um, you know, some of the older, like, 2012, 2011 videos and stuff that were in lower resolution and not made as well. Um, you know, I can kind of upgrade those if I want. So, I mean, it's a, it's, it's a bit of a fresh start. So, if I get my old channel back, then, you know, that'll just be kind of w, w pleasure, W fun, so to speak. It'll be a redundancy, it'll be a bonus, it'll be all good, and that's cool. But as far as the new one, you know, I'm not, I'm not really worried about anything. I got all my stuff backed up. I'm in the process of re-uploading it, re-monetizing it, resetting up the playlist, and so on and so forth. So, you know, it's all good. I'm, I'm not worried about it one bit. And, um, you know, Rich, uh, uh, Rich, a.k.a. GeneralTate.DeviantArt.com, he was here. He's still technically here. I see him showing up in the little thing there. But um, about 60 seconds before Katie came up, because before we were waiting to start this, waiting for Katie here, because she wanted to join in. About 60 seconds before she came up, suddenly Rich just left, just gone, just poof. I mean, you're still physically connected to the Hangout, but not saying anything. And so, you know, we don't know what happened or exactly when he's going to be back. So that's kind of weird. And um, we've kind of heard him in the background a few times with things. like heard him talking to somebody or something in the background a couple of times. But um, beyond that, he has not been back as of yet that I know of, unless he's just been purposely quiet, which I doubt. I think if he was here, he would have said something or, you know, shot me a Facebook message or something. But, um, so far, nothing. But anyway, the point of this Google Hangout in the first place has basically been to explain on video so that you guys have the information as to what exactly is going on and why it's happening as far as I know. 
Okay, that's definitely something from Rick and Ralph. And I hear Rick answer the phone. What the hell is up with him? <laughs> Did he just like forget about the hangout? Hey, Rich. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me now? <laughs> that is too funny. Rich! That is way too funny. I'm going to try like messaging him on like a few ways here and see if he'll get the message or whatever. Let's see here. I just sent him a message on Skype about that. I'm gonna kind of make it sound like redundant on Facebook private message too. Yeah, I have no clue whatsoever where he went. Like, you know, all I know is that he was here, and suddenly, you know, I hear him like talking to somebody else at the back background. Can't really make it out, and then, you know, he's just like gone. Like, still connected still able to basically hear little bits every now and again as far as what's going on over on his end, but, um, you know, beyond that, like, no reply whatsoever from Rich, aka generaltate.deviantart.com, so, I don't know, this is just a really, really weird situation. <laughs> this is very, very strange. I thought the last Google Hangout I had was strange, this is even weirder. And Jay just also kind of just suddenly left, so I don't know what's up. I don't know if, like, people's computers are glitching like crazy today. Like, I think they're supposed to be um, some sort of a full moon or something, or a new moon or whatever it is. And then today is also the fall equinox, so that means this is the first day of fall. Summer is gone, so there's usually all sorts of crazy energies with that. So, yeah, this is just really, really freaking weird. And then, you know, it's like, you know, just before the fall equinox, you know, this crap ends up happening with my, my YouTube channel, right? And it's almost like, you know, the only video I made about, ooh, let's say that dirty word, ISIS. The only video I made that mentions that, like within 48 hours of, like, Testing, making that. one, two, three. What? Testing, one, two, three. Sorry, I've been in the background. I'm just kind of dealing with stuff in the background. So. Yeah, you just like left with no warning whatsoever, like about 60 seconds before Katie came up. So I guess you weren't vibrationally freaking aligned. Um, sit up, Katie. There she is. Turn on your video, Rich. Rich, meet, meet the PSEC opening screamer. Screamer, meet Rich. <laughs> you you are just absolute headphone death. That's all I'm gonna say. You're like listening, listening, and it's like, and it's like, 
my ears feel like they're about to explode and bleed, and it's like, ow. Yeah. How did you do that to me? Anyway. Yeah, Katie gets loud. What, are you getting all shy? Anyway, I'm just kind of in the background. I'm just kind of doing stuff, so... Yeah, why did you suddenly disappear? You know, it's like, just all of a sudden, just poof. Because my, because my mother got home, and I needed to get my hair washed, and, you know, a bunch of other stuff, so, yeah. Ah, well, that little warning would have been cool, like, uh, BRB later or something, or need to do stuff, we'll be back in a bit, you know, that sort of thing. But then, cool. <laughs> You know, just a quick little line of something. Huh. Yeah, I don't know if you were paying attention to anything of what we said at all. Um, Jay was here briefly, too. But I basically explained the uh, situation with my YouTube channel. Uh, what's your take on it, Rich? What's, what's your opinion? Because, I mean... Just the timing of all this stuff, it's like, you know, within 48 hours of me even mentioning, you know, that nasty little ISIS word, you know, and all of a sudden that happens, and plus, you know, right before the fall equinox, and then there's, I think there's like a full moon or a new moon or some damn thing around here, and just all, all these things, like, aligning together, and then it's also during a time where, like, everybody I know is, like, suddenly experiencing, like, some kind of burst of chaos of some sort, you know, in their life. So, like, what do you think about that? Are you experiencing any sudden bursts of chaos as of late, Rich? Oh, not really. I mean, you know, every once in a while at work I'll deal with, you know, out-of-control shit or, oh, excuse me, there's a kid in the room out-of-control stuff, and I'll also deal with, sometimes I'll, I'm dealing with some crazy things regarding school and college and, you know, etc. That's fine, you can. So. Okay. Nothing really kind of out of the ordinary, just kind of, you know. Katie will be back. She needs to go use the bathroom. Uh, nope, nothing else. Kind of out of the ordinary. Just kind of, you know, intermittent bursts of craziness here and there, but nothing that isn't, you know, overly handleable. Nothing unprecedented. Yeah, nothing that's like, oh my god, you know. Yeah. What do you do about that? Well, I'm talking about unprecedented stuff, so. <laughs> like, what happened to me here is, like, pretty unprecedented. Big old WTF, to say the least. Hmm. <laughs> so what's your thoughts on what happened to my channel? I mean, do you think that, you know, this is just some sort of a server glitch? Or do you, you know, do you think that, um, you know, I, I, I mentioned the magic little ISIS word, and all of a sudden, like, five years of being on YouTube doesn't matter. It's like, <laughs> you know, what do you, th what do you think's going on in your opinion? Well, it is kind of ironic that only maybe 48 hours before they launch airstrikes on Syria that your account gets canned, and, you know, now there's this whole global corporate war going on, you know. Yeah. It's almost like within that little window when they when they were about to do their their stupid, it's almost like they programmed some bot that's like anybody who dares type the word ISIS gets like removed. Mm -hmm. So I might have just fell within that little stupid window or something. I'm I mean, I don't know. I just thought that was like really freaking weird. I hear the little monster. Thought I heard. I'm still thinking I hear. 
Yeah, it definitely sounds like a little monster. I hear a Katie. There's a Katie. And Katie has returned. Where should I? This is, or you can uh, put it um, here. That works. Katie's back. That is Dave. So, hello. 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 Katie. Hello. Here, sit hello. all the way back there. Oh, no, say you hello. say hello. Say hello. Oh, yeah, walk away. Just hello, I'm David. I want you to say hello. <laughs> you got to say hello on the... Okay. <sighs> can, I, can I have some Parmesan, please? Hi, Sorry, I'm kind of getting dinner right now. <laughs> well, I told you Katie's a little monster. Maybe she scared your mom away. Roar! <laughs> monster! Don't start with that, David. It's a monster. David, don't <laughs> even start! Before I tell you, paint on the way! Oh my god, it's a little ISIS monster. Let's shoot him with a giant hawk missile. Shh. Oh no, here comes the deck sealant. Shh. Ah! <laughs> hey, this new style. New Zealand style deck sealant. He's on the way, Rich! Yeah. There's not a hole in your deck. Fill it with some cock. New Zealand style deck sealant. When you got an extra size hole, request Schaefer's New Zealand style African style cock. Yeah. Just go to the local hardware store and request the big wet cock. Oh god. Cream is on the way for you, Rich. You what? Cream's on the way. Cream? Yeah. What, whipped cream? No. Hmm. The other kind of cream that we use for a joke. I don't know what you're talking about. Fred started it, and now Bob started it. Still have no idea. Like when you say Craig's on the way, um, it's almost like a difference. It's not like a difference of more cream. Okay. I got a joke for him. Why did the why did the chicken cross the road? I don't know. Esoteric chicken. He could have felt that he was already on the other side. Yeah. Okay. Or should and I Katie do this Katie agreed one? with me. I didn't see that one coming. Or should I do this one? Why did chicken stay on the eggs? To scare Rich's mom away from the nest when Google Hangout is nope. online and no. Because they don't have chairs. Okay. Well not much of a joke, but definitely completely logical. I personally have never seen chickens owning chairs before. I would definitely say that's a valid object. As far as what Rich was just talking about with the ISIS stuff, he also um, made up a little article thing outlining why, like, this was nothing but a big um, cock wag to get into Syria because, like, we wanted to go in there before, and then, you know, the people were like, no, we're not going to do that. And so then, you know, they're like, hmm, how can we convince the people? Oh, let's make up this boogeyman, and, and then, you know, the people will want to go with this group. Now, don't get us wrong. We're not saying ISIS doesn't exist. We're just saying that, you know, they were created, concocted by, <laughs> you know, the what? usual suspects. Fuck, paper, scissors, shoot. Another false flag. Fuck, paper, scissors, shoot. 
False flag doesn't mean it's not real and didn't happen. False flag just means there's something really shady going on and uh, not everything is necessarily as it appears. But it doesn't mean there's nothing going on. Like that's that's why I hate it when people like title things like the Sa the, the Sandy Hook hoax. It's like okay, I know that what they mean by hoax is just that there's something sneaky going on. But a lot of people use that word in the context of you know as if nothing happened at all. It's like no, it's not I'm trying to say nothing happened at all. Have any other uh, popular YouTube channels been affected that you know of, Rich? Like, has anybody else gotten the deal? You know, uh, Alex Jones. Alex Jones has gotten multiple ones. He's gotten zapped. I can't tell you how many times. But, I mean, did he get one recently with this? Not that I'm aware of. He would have reported about it if it did happen. Yeah. What's up, Kate? Oh, you're getting tired? Well, good night then. Make sure you take your shoes and your drink with you. Good night. Good night, Rich. Good night. Good night. Have a good sleep. You too. See you next time. Thanks for coming. It is getting it is getting close to her bedtime. She starts getting ready for bed around 8:30, and it's like about eight minutes to uh, 8:30 now. Because hmm. you know she's got to, to attend the um, the um, Nazi propaganda indoctrination system that we know of as school. Mm-hmm. So. Why don't you guys don't do, Why don't you guys just do online? For Christ's sake. Online school right now requires a particular aptitude of both the student and the parent. It requires a certain level of responsibility. You know what I mean? Hmm. It's like what we were talking about, you know, regardless of what system of government or, or lack thereof, whether you're talking about an anarcho system or whatever, you know, any, any good cool hands of the incompetence, it, it's not going to work well. Kind of like having little kids rebuild the, uh, you know. Um, Katie is a bit too uncoordinated as of yet to handle that level of responsibility that online school entails. And, um, you know, Connie has a similar lack of coordination. So that really, that really wouldn't work. And, you know, it's... Um, it's challenging enough for them to, to keep uh, Katie on task with, um, you know, the stuff she's learning. But Katie is going to a pretty good school, ironically. Um, and, I, I mean, I'm, like, amazed at, like, how good that school is and how much they actually help Katie and work with Katie and they're very, you know, understanding that she learns and thinks differently than the frickin' status quo. And as far as I can tell, that's, that's also one of the schools that has rejected Common Core. Oh, cool. Well, as long as she's not uh, dealing hold, with that, it'll be okay. Hold on one moment. Yeah, what's up? I'm recording. It's live. Let's go. Okay. Apparently that was a never mind moment. Yeah, sorry about that. You're saying, Rich? Well, as long as she's in the hands of the school that isn't um, abiding by the system of mind mush, then I think it'll be all good. Yeah. I mean, the system prior to mind mush wasn't exactly the greatest system in the world either, but the, um, the, the common core is, like, exponentially worse. Mm-hmm. And seeing as Katie is no longer over there and I'm sitting in a different chair and a different computer right now, I may as well bring this back into 
icon mode. It's really nothing for anybody to look at while not sitting over there. This microphone on the multimedia TV system here has a pretty good pickup, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Good, because I'm, I'm sitting rather far away from this thing, and um, it's going to be clearly than awesome. But I'm figuring that if I got hit just for typing the word ISIS into a freaking title, I'm not stating that it's a fact that that happened, but it's definitely a probability, hence my use of the word if. So if that's the case, then I'm curious if it happened to anybody else. Okay, somebody posted a bunch of shit on my page, and it, all of the comments say hidden by commenter. Commenter. On uh, no, what page? Oh, on my uh, detailed look into the illegal Syrian war. <clears throat> That's interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's... Somebody made replies and then decided they were going to take them back. Yeah. And of them. Oh, welcome back, Jay. Yeah, I had uh, locked up, my computer locked up when I tried to find your YouTube page. Maybe just couldn't handle Katie dinner. <laughs> no. Nah. Because she just left and you came back. Mm -hmm. That's that's why my, my video's off. I'm not sitting in, in front of the camera right now. I'm at a different computer and Katie's gone soon. I turned off the video, that, you know, of people, you know, just uh, looking at a vacant couch and it might be a little boring for them. Yeah, all it states that. You left that it, you're back. It, it says uh, the account has been suspended. Yeah. And, uh, what, you know what it is, uh, Google's. Google's in a race with the National Security Agency to see who's top dog. Well, we connected a whole bunch of things together while you were gone. Like, not 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 only was it um, approaching the fall equinox and possibly even a new moon or, or something like that, so there's a lot of energetic intensity there, but it was within, like, you know, th this two-day window was within the four-day window of you know, basically, you know, Obama pulling this little sneaky into Syria because he didn't want to go to Syria. So ISIS is a false flag used to get us into Syria. And within their little four-day quiet window when they were, you know, preparing and moving in, and, you know, it's entirely probable that they may have had some sort of little Google bot going on around there that anybody that's got the, got the you know, the word ISIS in the title, you know, gets their account to send it. So I may or may not get it back. If it wasn't intended to shut down accounts permanently, but was only intended as a media blackout, uh -huh. then I might actually get my account back. Uh -huh. And they might be like, oh, sorry, just we had a major glitch, and oh, you know, our bad. Hopefully you didn't know the false flag. <laughs> More like a breach of contract. Since you you have an AdSense account, to them for brief. No, there's still, there's still, you know, they, they when it's totaled up. I mean, they're gonna they're gonna pay me for whatever I've accumulated from that point forward. I mean, you know, they're they're still obligated to pay me. For that. Everything I, I racked up up until that point, there. So that's no, that's kind of to do that. This is about time to open the Vimeo account too. A what? A Vimeo account. I've tried that. They're real freaking picky. I should try again, but I have a Vimeo account, and they declined me. I tried that maybe about a year ago. I should probably try again. But they are incredibly freaking picky in Vimeo. I've tried. You actually have to apply for an account, and, you know, they review it, and, you know, whether or not they deem you freaking worthy. 
Uh, <laughs> well, then you should be able to get it. Just, just, just reflect it, that worthiness of self. Yeah, I was recently thinking about trying again too. Yeah, so you know, it's really interesting that you brought that up because within the within the last couple of days, I had been thinking about it. But I haven't told anybody I've been thinking about it. That's just been a thought in my head. And all of a sudden, you, you're reflecting it back at me. Well, basically, it's a natural progression. Or, you know, a basic follow-up. Yeah, we'll we'll see what happens with that. But the thought has been crossing my mind mm -hmm. that maybe I should give that another try. All right, because uh, things are changing, and every moment's different. You know, if if it doesn't succeed the first time, just give it a couple of days, and it'll probably shift it to a time like that you can get in. Let's see what happens for sure. Be right back. Any other thoughts while we're uh, waiting for the roof again, um, Jay? Yeah. Like I said, it's, it's, it's more than that. I mean, that, they feel like their ass is being pinned lately. Like their what? Uh, the, the Illuminati, you know, the, the cabal is really very testy right now. It's like It's like a wounded animal. Me and some friends have been joking around about this thing and saying that basically I won my first Illuminati Mirror Badge. But right now my mindset on it is I'm not going to jump any, you know, conclusions on what's going on in this. I mean, I'm just looking at the probabilities and at how things line up, but you know, all I know right now is that the account was suspended with no reason given. There were no DMCA attacks, no community guidelines violations, nothing. Just all of a sudden, it's like slam, and it was within two days of me putting ISIS in the title of the video. Well, I'll tell you also a coincidence. Uh, it happened right after that thing. Uh, uh, and uh, Cosmic Voice on, on whatchamacallit. Yeah, Katarina being on the radio, and then and then after that, it's like they started getting a little testy with us, and I was just like, all right, you know, I'm out of here. I don't, I don't need all this bickering back and forth BS, and then this happens all of a sudden. Well, the bickering could be caused by an eight provo provocateur that in, in that they, they may not know it. They may have a provocateur in their group. They, they, don't might. Even, they don't even realize it. Might even be one of the admins. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. What a better way of keeping an eye on him, huh? That's that's entirely a possibility. Well, yeah, that is interesting. And then right after that whole thing, then my channel goes down. It's like, 
you know, I just I look at things just in terms of probabilities. I look at the data, and when too many things happen back to back to back like that, even though I can't specifically point and say, oh yeah, that's definitely the reason for this, I can definitely line that data up and look at it and go, you know, there's something a little weird about that. Mm -hmm. Because I'm not going to make a claim that anything is absolutely any which way about it. I don't no. know. I can't make the claim. But I can definitely look at all these multiple simultaneous coincidences, not coincidences, coincidences, and I could say, hmm, you know, that does really kind of look interesting the way that lines up like that. What are the chances? What are the probabilities? What does logic say about that? I just think it's incredibly interesting. Yeah. And, you know, that's really all I can say about it. I mean, I'm not going to, you know, pull an Alex Jones mistake like a prophecy or draw any crazy conclusions or anything like that. Even Alex doesn't make that mistake as much anymore because he learned that one the hard way. I'm certainly well, not going to repeat it. Provocateurs can have their purpose. Uh, as, as much as a, uh, a, as good as they are for the, let's say, the company, it can also be a liability. Because it can be fed false information as well as others. You know, they're, they're, in other words, they're not bullshit proof. You still there, Jay? Yeah, I'm still here. It's almost like you interrupted yourself mid sentence and that happened. I, I said they're not bullshit proof. Uh, so the feed that they're getting from the place and sending up as intelligent is not necessarily reliable in the first place. Because they, uh, they could be lied to just as easily. You know, because you know, not all the uh, articles that are put on the internet are truthful. Yeah, obviously. No, so. You know, I'm just saying, in regards to what happened with my account, all the interesting coincidences with all of that, just before, during, and after, all I can do is spot them and say, well, they're very interesting coincidences, but I can't particularly state that they absolutely are or are not. You know, any one thing in particular, I can't point to anything. I'll take the Alex Jones made a lot, you know, the whole, like, um, you know, jumping the gun and getting all hot and bothered or whatever, and so on and so on. Ah, uh, you know, Donnie might be interested in this. Donnie, Donnie's going to be busy until November. He's got a full lineup and a full schedule because he's got, you know, and not only is he uh, back on Truth Frequency Radio, but he's broadcasting out a, um, an FM station. Yeah, I know. California, so he's got like a full full freaking lineup until October because I, I had suggested to Johnny that um have Katarina on sometime and he's gonna be like, Well, you know, he, that'd be cool, but you know, the next two months is gonna pack and I'm like, oh, all right, well, you know, whatever, maybe later. No, what I said he might be interested on hearing that your YouTube channel got cut out for no reason. Ah. Uh, You know, he, he, he's went through that coincidence. 
Yeah, well, he had a small army of trolls gunning for him, too. Yeah, small? <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm being, uh, you know, understating the point. But um, Don, Donnie got riled up too easily, and so the trolls really loved having fun with his ass. So. Yeah, but like I said, we, we've got to what trolls admit that they were being paid to do it. And you wonder why they're kicking you off give me off of YouTube. But you know the 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 um, journal entry that I made up in regards to what's happened to me, you know, this video I'm doing right now and so on and so forth, I mean I'm gonna be adding more data in that journal entry as time goes on, including embedding videos. So I mean you know, once I got got enough in there, then you know I can toss that and go to Dottie and let Dottie check this out. <laughs> Because Donnie was considered interesting, considering you're not even talking about Nibiru. I'm not even talking about what? You're not even talking about Nibiru. So, uh, it's a wonder why uh, all these people are screwing, screwing with your account already. But, but like I said, it's a, it's a damn coincidence that it happened right after Cosmic Voice, and I think. They may have a plant in there that they don't realize. But it don't matter, you know, because they're not doing anything illegal in the first place. Mm -hmm. But it's it can be con inconvenient, or if they suspect a plant, it can be very convenient because it's, it's a way to give out uh, false information. As well, you know, because... Uh, Clients are, you know, they're not dialed in. They're just paid, paid informant, most likely, or paid worker. Yeah. So it's fun. You can rattle their chains and uh, do a few things. Well, once I have more more data, you know, put together on this and add it into that entry, which of course includes this hangout in and of itself, um, you know, then I'll just cross the uh, the whole thing over to Tommy. Um, rather than you know giving him some long and drawn out explanation, I can just give him a punchline and say, here, check this out for more. Yeah, it's really interesting how all these things line up at once. Yeah. And I mean, from an esoteric point of view, that could just be, you know, expressions of energy. I mean, a frequency um, lines up with itself. So when you have things that are up in common frequency, um, in close proximity that are expressing, you know, then things like that might might not even be like necessary a quote unquote conscious plan by any individual or individuals, you know, kind of like, um, you know, when the, when the wind blows in autumn and the, you know, the leaves blow around on the ground, you know, it's not exactly a, a conspiracy to think that, uh, you know, when the wind picks up and there's a lot of leaves on the ground, that, you know, those leaves are going to get blown around. It's like, oh my God, that one leaf is being blown around. Oh, so is that one, and that one, and that one. Oh my God, it's a conspiracy. No, it's just the wind. <laughs> Hopefully. So this might just be the uh, energetic winds of the holographic yeah. illusion of physical reality doing their thing. And we're just observing all these different leaves of reality. Yeah, well, we uh, Someone's breaking wind and you're catching it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Not the time created by eating too much meat. Yeah.
It's definitely been an interesting week all the way across the board, though, I'm telling you. Yeah. Last seven days or so. You know, like, you know, I've noticed all the time periods that are like right before and just after any kind of equinox or solstice are usually got just a lot of intensity to them. I've noticed that for the last two years. It seems to happen without fail. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? Yeah, things happen. Uh, there, uh, this is a very energetic time, though. It could be something just trying to clear itself out of you. Remember, it's all getting very subtle to begin with. That's why they're having a hell of a time because the Illuminati aren't very, aren't very really very subtle. <laughs> At least not these days. They're not. They used to be. Now they're more overt. Well, it's, it's, and it's not that they're really more overt, overt because uh, they're just uh, they're playing the game they used to play it, and rules don't matter. It the rules aren't that way anymore. They're not keeping up. Yeah, it's like it's like uh, they're becoming they're becoming. Less subtle and more impatient the more they kind of temper tantrum. They try something and it doesn't completely work out the way they were hoping, but they get irritated like a child would. So then they react kind of in a similar way. Right. And just for the people listening, I'm, I'm using the word Illuminati as kind of like a buzzword. I'm not implying that there's one big, all-encompassing, unified, cooperative uh, entity called the Illuminati. I mean, it, it works more like the mob. You know, you got all these different mafia factions, and you, know, you got all you got all these you got all these gangs all vying for control. They want yeah. control over each other just as much as want control over people. So I think the word Illumi Illuminati is more synonymous with mafia or mob, like that idea. Because there isn't, there isn't like just one mob. There's never been just one mob or just one gang. There's always been all these different ones, large, small, and everything. So it's, it's kind of like a, a similar idea to that. You know, there isn't like this one all-encompassing, all-powerful, all-knowing efficiently organized thing. It's just, you know, it's a bunch of bullies on the fucking playground is what it is. And the way they take our, our power, they just, they, 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 they act as if they assume they have it, and then humans have this tendency of giving their power away to people who act as if they are in a position of authority. They don't even have to really be in a position of authority. They just have to act as if. And that's where you get all these, like, even in the spiritual communities, all these gurus and things. And some of the gurus are real, and others of them are just scammers and fakes and bullshit artists. And all they do to get followers is just act as if they are in a position of authority, and humans have a tendency to just give it to them. It's an age-old scam. Snake oil saleswomen. And saleswomen. And it's the same shit, different expression in a different century. Yep. That's all that is. I mean, even Putin's realized that the old game isn't 
isn't going to work. So, you know, he's playing chess while everyone else is playing checkers, basically. I mean, people are so worried about a third world war with Russia. There ain't going to be no such thing. I mean, Obama even offered for the Chinese to come in and invade, and they wouldn't take it. They're like, no, 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 we're not crazy enough to do that. And Russia knows that, um, you know, full-scale war between nations has been a tool of the uh, central banking system. Uh, central banking system. Yeah. And he's against the central bankers. So why would he go do something that's going to play into the hands of his enemy? He knows his enemy wants full-scale war because that his enemy knows how to manipulate. So Putin's not about to go, you know, hand that over to him. He's not going to play into their hands and give his enemy what they want because they want to prevent Russia in front of a full-scale war. They, they love nothing more than this. You know, the, the, the USA and its allies, China and Russia, all fucking duking it out into, into, into a big of a bloody clusterfuck fest as possible. These bankers would love that. Who knows it? China knows it, too. Although China's kind of funny, because China's kind of split in half. You've got the part of China that's on, uh, that's on Russia's side and doesn't want war, and, you know, they, they don't like the central banks or any of that either. Then you've got the side of China that's in the pockets of the, um, you know, Anglo-American uh, you know, bankers. So it's like they're kind of, they're split in two over in China. They're kind of, they're extremely divided within within their own factions. So that's definitely an interesting scenario with China. They're not really unified as to whose side they're on. Kind of split down the middle. So, um, any other thoughts on this whole thing? Uh, I'm, well, not really on that. My focus is basically on producing the thoughts that I want, and the rest don't matter in the first place. Not go give it any power by giving them any people. They're just they're just a temporary marker in what's coming up. That's all. Well, what I plan on doing with the new channel here is uh, very simple. Because on, on the old one, I had tons of, you know, playlists of all sorts of videos and things from all other people's channels and stuff like that. Um, on this new one, I'm not really going to do that. I'm going to keep it all just to, uh, to PSEC. And then it'll probably look a bit more organized, you know. But um, those are the only videos that I'm going to be uploading is as directly related to that, and the only videos I'm going to be playlist. If I want to do, um, you know, full, um, you know, multimedia educational archive that sort of thing again, then I'll just start up a, another separate <laughs> channel for that. But um. On this new channel, I'm not going to do what I did before on the old one as far as that. Now, if I end up, you know, getting the old one back, well then, cool, you know, that I you know, already have that channel to uh, continue exactly as I had been doing in the first place. But, you know, with this new one, I'm just going to keep it, you know, strictly focused on, um, you know, PSEC related things and, um, not go off on any on any side steps with it. So we'll we'll see what happens. I mean, I think it's entirely probable that I may very well get my old channel back. I don't see that as you know, the, the realm of uh, possibility. But um, at the same time, I'm not you know expecting that or defending 
working on it, I'm not, you know, putting up any false hopes, only to be disappointed, you know, so I'm not going in either direction. Mm -hmm. I'm just thinking if I get it back, cool, and if not, then that still doesn't do any harm. Mm -hmm. Because either way, the fact that this happened to me is only going to boost my credibility and only going to make, you know, PSEC more popular. Because that's always what happens with these channels. And they get down and then they get resurrected again. You know, look at, I mean, how, you know, um, Rick used Alex Jones as an example, but, you know, what about uh, Dabu7? And then he came back up as... Uh, Tabu 77. His channel got nailed. And as a result of his, his first channel getting nailed, his second channel is even more popular than the first one now. And if his first one had not been nailed, then his new channel now probably would not have nearly as much um, of a following, you know? So it's kind of like the idea of like the phoenix uh, rising from the ashes, you know? That sort of a thing. To where it comes back and it comes back better. And without without the first one going to crap, then you wouldn't have had that improvement, you know? You wouldn't have had that refinement. So that's the way I see it really. I mean no matter what happens, whether I get the old channel back or not, uh, the fact that this happened to me in the first place, regardless of you know, what anybody's opinions or views on it or why, whether people think it's a glitch or, you know, they think it has to do with uh, world events and I got hit by some sort of censorship bot or, or you know, wh whatever anybody might think about it, regardless of, of what their opinion is, who agrees on it or, or what. You know, the end result is the same. And the end result is that, um, you know, my PSEC series will have a bit more notoriety, more credibility, and a bit more interest as a result. I mean, I, en I ended off the old channel with uh, over 4 million views. It was at something like uh, 4,039,000 or something like that. Um, I was almost at 6,100 subscribers, and I'd gotten over 1,000 subscribers within a 30-day period, and that's the first time that that sort of thing ever happened. And I was just kind of like, wow, that's pretty cool. So I hit like an all-time high, an all-time amazing peak of views just flooding in, and subscribers just flooding in. And then all of a sudden I get hammered. Mm -hmm. And it's happening simultaneously with, you know, all the, you know, ISIS crap and Equinox mm -hmm. and everything else you could say. And like, I don't know. If all of that is just a really bizarre coincidence, then I should go buy a lottery ticket. <laughs> and maybe I might coincidentally win. Because all the good probabilities that you look for are nuts. Mind-bogglingly nuts. Without even trying to make any guesses at what supposedly is or is not the case. It's all still mind-bogglingly insane. The probabilities, or shall we say improbabilities, are just crazy. You know, the chances of all that sort of stuff happen to happen at once, just purely by chance and with nothing else factoring in, shit, you know? At that point, it's time to go buy a lottery ticket, maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should. Right? And, you know, I've I got to go to the gas station sooner rather than later in order to pick up another little pouch of my tobacco. It's going to be about that time. Shit, maybe I'll pitch a couple of bucks towards the lottery ticket. Why not? Oh, no. well, if you hit the lottery, buy, buy silver coin and keep it at home. <laughs> uh, when the currency goes bad, silver will be valuable. Mm -hmm. 
any metal is going to be valuable when it goes bad. Oh yeah, aluminum, copper, silver. I I, I I got uh, fifty ounces of silver myself. Yeah. All, I mean, all, all in one. Uh, about twenty dollars of it is then uh, 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 uncirculated silver U.S. coin. I got seven uh, Canadian coins, and the rest are just uh, one ounce uh, buffalo uh, silver. Uh, Any silver metals coin. that have a use other than just being used as money has a value, obviously, other than just being used as money. So it has an intrinsic value by default. Mm -hmm. Well, it, it has the value of whatever silver's in it, and this is nine nine nine. So, uh, fine silver. Well, that's yeah. going to be represented as fiduciary currency. You know, it's going to be something that will be a median of exchange. Things like, uh, say, rifles, ammunition, food, um, clean water even. Those are all going to be things that will be barter items. Anything that can be used for any purpose that would sustain life and, you know, be used for survival will have value. Well, see, I got a, I got some chemistry glassware and I can, I can build myself a steel. <laughs> yeah, make good uh, alcohol. Yeah, well, you can, for, for making tinctures and stuff of uh, herbs and what have you. No, and not only alcohol for drinking, but disinfectants as well. No, not, not, not necessarily for drinking. That, that stuff's generally rot gut. I'm saying for uh, disinfectants. Disinfectants. Well, uh, um, and alternate fuel, too. Alternate fuel, that's just what I was going to go on to. You widen the carburetor on any old car, it can run on alcohol. Yeah. I mean, yeah, gaso gasoline, I imagine, will be available. There will be people with means and the resources to get oil. It will be available, but it's going to be very expensive. So, you know, you got to have other fuels. Well, there's the other part. Uh, uh, if you can run alcohol at about uh, 160 proof and... And it will actually do better than this gasoline, which they add alcohol to, in, in power-wise. The only problem with gas, um, alcohol is that you have to have more of it. You know, you'd have, have to have about double the amount of alcohol to go, say, 300 miles as you would for gasoline. Well, higher rate of evaporation. Mm-hmm. Higher burn ratio, yeah. you got to burn more to get well, the same amount of energy. Well, not real. The problem with gasoline is it's an incomplete burn. Um, with alcohol, if you add, add it so it's at 160 proof where there's a lot of water in with it, that water will turn to steam and, and add power to your vehicle. See... It's the nature of the burn and everything else you have to take in consideration uh, when you're engineering these things for use as fuel. You, you don't want it uh, at 190 or 200 proof. You want it about 160 where you can utilize uh, the water in it to turn to steam to help, uh, for one thing, to keep your cylinder a, a little bit cooler and it'll produce more power. Gasoline can't manipulate as as well. Not only that, you got uh, we know who has control over the gasoline. Well, not necessarily. If you're if you're referring to big corporations, you know, you're not. I'm talking about you know private individuals who drill oil, and there's plenty of them cropping across the country right now. I mean, you know. If it were the corporations that were 100% in control of the gasoline, you wouldn't see gasoline pouring in here by the metric ton on train cars and everything else. You know? 
Hey guys, up here. It's the corporate. All right, the corporation's back up. You know the the IXL ban on the pipeline just as much as anybody because if that pipeline were to be put into the U.S., that would be crude oil that would be flowing into the American economy, thus lower gas prices and would cut into the oil corporation's profits. Well, they'll ship it out. They don't keep it. Here, they'll, they'll ship it out and sold to someone else. That's why you've got high gas prices here. Because you're, they're importing the gas that they don't need and they're, because they're exporting the stuff they got here. Mm -hmm. the, yeah, they do. They do that. They do that. They're doing, the, they're doing the shuffle. They're doing the shuffle on people. Mm -hmm. Is what they're doing to raise the price. Yeah, uh, it's illegal as all hell, but they get away with it mm -hmm. because you got a bunch of Congress that on take. You know, I, I can't wait until. Uh, and take care of them, just put them where they belong, in jail. Well, the thing is about the IXL, and this isn't, this wasn't the case with the uh, Alaska oil pipeline that they built. Um, it's, be, it's being built by private companies, smaller companies that are, you know, that want to have gas be brought here. That's why there's such a high move right now and such a uh, blockade by the administration because they realize if that pipeline were to go into effect, it would lower gas prices and major corporations in control of lots of oil deposits wouldn't have anything to say about it. So, what do you do on something like that? That you just put them, you just basically politically blockade it and just ignore it like it doesn't exist. So now we've got oil coming into the country via rail car, and that's beginning. That's really pissing them off. That's why gas prices have been a little bit cheaper. Recently, at least.
Welcome back. Are people still here? Hey. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. How long? How long ago did uh, Jay leave? I don't know. Were you talking to him? Yeah, I was talking to him. Okay, so about how long? <laughs> Approximately, roughly. I'm just looking to know how long there's been dead air in the broadcast. Oh, probably ten minutes. Huh? Ten minutes, at least. Yeah, I needed to go downstairs and get myself something to eat, because I haven't really had anything all day. Yeah, he just kind of left. His connection might have bombed out, or his computer might have mess messed up or something. He, he's been having little issues here and there lately. Yeah, that's the laptop where he can't even shut off the uh, the external speaker when the headphones plug in, you know? To where it just kind of stays on anyway. Anyway, um, any, uh, any other thoughts on any of the stuff that we've uh, talked about in this hangout tonight or what? Not really, no. I'm just kind of lost for words. How about anything that you mentioned on your journal entry? Anything you mentioned there that hasn't been mentioned here? Um... Not really. Uh, it's, you know, just kind of more of the obvious, you know, the Obama administration illegally committing to war in Syria against con with no congressional insight or approval whatsoever to conduct airstrikes, you know, violating the Constitution yet again another time. Um, the complete lack of care by any of the congressional committees or authorities as to the president's actions, you know, taking a break from their break, you know, because they're too pussy-footed to actually step in and do something. Um, just kind of living in, yet again, crazier times and heading towards, you know, what history will look back on as the official conflict known as World War III, even though we've already been in kind of a premature lead-up to that point for, you know, the last 60 years. Or maybe they'll look at it as the end of it. Yeah, it depends. That would be the, the final conflict, you know, the, um, the, the, the one where everybody is woken up. And I mean, I don't mean like nuclear weapons or everything gets destroyed and humanity gets wiped out or anything like that. I just mean to where it culminates to a point of global awareness to where there's nobody on the earth who can look around and say, what? What are you talking about? I don't see anything wrong. I don't know what's going on. You're a crazy conspiracy nut. You know, the point where the point where the word conspiracy theorist no longer exists. <laughs> that point. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think that's the point you're talking about. Mm hmm you know, not that necessarily all the cities are leveled or most of humanity's dead or anything like that, but just the point where everybody starts to walk their talk because there's there's no more room for the manipulation and bullshit that literally no one's falling for anymore. Then maybe some politicians get some nice new hemp, hemp neckties and you know, things of that nature. Nuremberg mm -hmm. Part 2. Definitely living in interesting times. Definitely the end of, uh, end of the old paradigm. Mm-hmm.
Bashar called it, um, this is even years ago, Bashar called it the end of the age of limitation. And um, it, was, it was really just incredibly funny as to how he described it. And I think it really, it fits. <laughs> I did a, uh, I put that in a Paradigm Shift episode from 2011. And I can, uh, I should actually be able to just grab that up real quick um, and play it through on this. It was really short. There was no video. It's just audio. Let's see, where did it go? Weird, where in the heck can I stick that say? I know the title is The End of the Age of Limitation. Maybe I had that listed as a clip instead of a full episode. That means that would be in my PSEC Multimedia Archive, um, which currently exists only here. Most of it isn't public, really haven't gotten around to being able to do that yet, just simply because it consists of so much shit. Let's see here. Um, PSEC Multimedia Library. I'm going to quickly do a total on that, just see how much shit is actually in here. Yeah, 1,953 items totaling in 34.1 gigs. So yeah, I think you can kind of see why I haven't really gotten all that up yet. Um, let's Video. I mean, if I could... Ah, uh, here we go. End of the Age of Limitation. It's funny. I'm going to load it up right quick. Give it just a moment for the player to load it. The reality here now is that many of you may be saying, well, we're seeing now in the so-called new age of awareness, even more and more negative things coming up, more and more violence on the planet, more and more dichotomy and polarity on the planet, yes, because you're at the end of the age of the cycle of limitation, you don't have much time left in which to experience those things, you have to hurry up and get them all out on the table, get them out of your system, bring everything up to the surface so it's all transparent, so you can clearly see exactly what everyone believes, positive and negative, and make a determination for yourself what you want to choose. Nothing hidden any longer, nothing hidden at all. The people that hate you, hate you and say so, and try to kill you, and say they enjoy doing it. Now you have an opportunity to simply recognize they have made a choice based on their beliefs, based on their definitions, and you can 
allow yourself to be found in the back. Anyway, then it gets into the more serious part of the rant. But I like how he says, it's like, and the people who hate you, hate you. And they say so. And try to kill you. And say they enjoy doing it. <laughs> it's just like, wow. <laughs> uh, he's funny. You still here? Mm-hmm. Uh, I gotta love the shark. He's a fucking character, I'm telling you. Yeah, I guess uh, we can wrap up the hangout now. I think I think um, you know we've talked about you know everything that's happened with the channel as far as what we know, what we think, and um, where things might be going, and then, you know, we'll keep everybody apprised, and, uh, you know, how it relates to world events, and da-da-da-da-da-da-da. I think we've talked about everything we can talk about in this, and uh, mm -hmm. I don't really think there's anything else left to say for it, except, well, hope everybody enjoys the channel. Be on the lookout for all the old stuff returning, and also new videos and stuff coming out at the same time, too. So... You know, um, you know, please resubscribe and <laughs> you know, click like on the Facebook page and you know whatever, et cetera, et cetera. Um, welcome back and uh, you know thanks for sticking with us and we uh, look forward to uh, dealing with everybody some more. It's going to be an interesting fun ride on this planet. So uh, we look forward to taking that with you. Catch you later. Peace out.